Buongiorno. Uh, sono Francis Reed della Fontera. Sono molto felice di essere qui. He said that he's very happy to be here. This is the third time that I come to this dairy forum. And um, I'm sorry for not being able to make my presentation in Italian. However, yeah, before starting with my lecture, I would like to uh, say thanks uh, to the CLAL team, to Angelo, to Elisabetta, and to all the other members of the team. Thank you. Now, I would like to talk about the goodness of dairy. And what I mean by that are the important moments in our lives where dairy is important. Think about your own life. Think about Christmas with family. Think about panettone. Think about Easter and Easter eggs. Think about graduation and that meal you have with your friends where you have a pizza. Think about perhaps more difficult times when you get older and need specialist nutrition as you're aging. Think about having an operation and the specialist care you need in hospital. Think about a baby that is born prematurely and cannot feed from its mother. In each of these moments, dairy is crucial. Butter and the panettone, milk fat and the Easter egg, mozzarella cheese on the pizza, dairy proteins for the people getting older and for the baby who needs specialist nutrition. How lucky are we to work in the dairy sector where we're producing a product that is not only nutritious and crucial for life, but tastes amazingly good and people actually want to buy. Globally, each year, prices go up and they go down, but consumption increases. We work in an industry that is growing, that is positive. And for me, working for Fonterra, a dairy cooperative, there's something else that's really important and wonderful about dairy and that it is connected to the land, it is connected to farmers. So not only are we making a great product that people need, the goodness of dairy, we're also helping to make farmers and rural communities richer and more prosperous. This is a mission for everyone in this room, and therefore the question is not how do we access the, com the co consumer of the future, it's how do we bring them the goodness of dairy that we already know and love. So for me, Fonterra, and for you, uh, members of the Italian and European dairy community, we have a lot in common and a shared mission. But who is Fonterra? We're a farmer-owned dairy cooperative owned by around 10,000 dairy farmers in New Zealand. We have around 20,000 employees globally, and including myself. I am based in, in Amsterdam and work exclusively on the European market. We're well known as being the world's largest dairy exporter, and we're very important for the New Zealand economy, accounting for roughly 25% of New Zealand's total goods exports. However, in global terms, New Zealand, our core production centre, is very, very small. You see it highlighted here in green, only producing around 20 billion litres of milk, only around 3% or two and a half percent of the total milk in the world. Compared to India, oh, that is not what I intended to do. Uh, compared to India or the European Union, which produces roughly eight times the amount of milk that New Zealand does, we're very small. However, we export 95% of what we produce. How can this be? Because with our 20 billion litres of milk, in our country that in land area is around the same size as Italy, we only have the population of Piemonte. So we have a considerable exportable surplus. And this means that, as was shown by Philippe in the previous uh, presentation, New Zealand is the world's second largest dairy exporter behind the European Union. And the focus of these exports are increasingly on the growing consumers in Asia and the Middle East and Africa. Consumers who, in some instances, have not traditionally been eating dairy and did not know the story of the goodness of dairy that we know well, 
So the opportunity for New Zealand and for Fonterra in recent years has been bringing the goodness of dairy to new consumers. Now the challenge that we face in common with producers around the world is that dairy is difficult to trade in. When you're accessing these new consumers in new markets, you find that the tariffs shown here as being very high when they are uh, dark red are very high for dairy products. It is very hard to trade dairy products across borders and to access these new con consumers. And that is something that the European Union and New Zealand share, an interest and a need to fight back protectionism and to access new con consumers. Now what is Fonterra doing? Our story starts with milk supply. We are, as I mentioned, a dairy cooperative, so you have to have good quality milk. We're selling dairy ingredients. It could be bulk butter like this, or it could be a specialty protein going to a, a sick child or somebody recovering from an operation. We have our own brands that we sell mostly in the Asia region. We're not present in the European market with our own brands. We only sell ingredients here. And food service. It's a fact that 50% of pizzas sold in China have Fonterra cheese on their top, a very important and growing market. Now the thing about New Zealand is that although we do have this considerable exportable surplus that is feeding this growing demand in emerging markets, growth in milk supply in New Zealand is getting less and less. We're constrained and demand for the goodness of dairy is greater than what we can supply. So as a company, we are now increasingly sourcing from Europe, from South America, and we're looking for other partnerships and other opportunities to gain good quality dairy to supply world needs. And in Europe, in Europe, those partnerships have been very much focused on high quality whey protein derivatives, really targeting a small number of high quality advanced ingredient sectors. There's no need for us to be active in commodity products in Europe, given there are so many people in this room already producing high quality products here for the European market. And so we're now in a position where our European business, where I'm operated, is overwhelmingly focused on European produced products. The amount of product that we bring in from New Zealand to Europe is very, very small compared to the production that we have in Europe. And these investments and partnerships have focused in the north of Europe to date, in Lithuania, in the Netherlands, in the United Kingdom, but we're active sourcing from and working with customers all over Europe, including in Italy. And the focus in Europe is on medical and healthy aging, sports and active lifestyle, and ingredients for infant formula. And I, I stress again, we're only selling ingredients in Europe. We're not selling finished products. So for me, this means that we as a company are active across the entire product portfolio from cheese for pizza and butter through to these highly advanced ingredients which is our focus in Europe. Now the secret of Fonterra's international competitiveness uh, is the same as the secret for any internationally competitive dairy company. You need to be market orientated and have a, a strategy that's really led by demand in the market, wherever it is, be it for pizza cheese, milk fat for panettone, or proteins for medical care. Sustainability is crucial. If people do not believe that our cows are being well cared for and that our environmental footprint as an industry is low, that is a challenge. But for us as a company and for other companies, that sustainability message and story is crucial. On-farm efficiencies and competitiveness are also key. If our farmers' cost of production is too high, then they will not be sustainable. Their businesses will not survive. So it's crucial that you have on-farm costs that are as low as they can be for the farmers, and then it's the job as us as a cooperative to maximise what they are paid for their milk. Innovation is crucial. The products that consumers want and are consuming today are not the same as the products that they wanted and consumed yesterday. If you don't have an active research and, nutrition, uh, research and development program in place, 
you have a challenge as a dairy company. And then finally, the non-negotiable high food safety and quality standards that you must have and that we have. Now for us, the other added ingredient that is in the centre here is around partnerships. In each case for these new sourcing and investment projects that we have in Europe, we're working with a European dairy company as a partner. It's arrogant to assume that you can work alone in a global market. Even if you're a global market leader like Fonterra, you must partner. And that's the beautiful bit. I, as a New Zealander, living in the Netherlands, working across Europe, know with certainty that we are stronger working together than solely viewing ourselves as islands isolated from one another in this sector. So that's what I wanted to leave you with. A thought around the goodness of dairy, a thought around the fact that irrespective of the moment in your life that you can think of, dairy will play a role, whether it's an indulgence to celebrate a special moment, or whether it's at the other end of the spectrum, having the care and the nutrition you need at the end of life. We are privileged to work in dairy, and we're privileged to work with farmers who provide us with high quality milk that meets the new needs of future consumers. Thank you.